Hi, welcome to the IBM video series on thought leadership. I'm your host, Lisa Manning, and joining us today is IBM's organization and people leader, Maria Paz Barrientos. Today's topic is the recently released 2010 Global Chief Human Resource Officer Study. Thank you for being here, Maria. Oh, no, thanks for having me, Lisa. I really appreciate this opportunity. Great. Maria, if you could tell me a little more about the purpose of the study and your role with it. Um, the study is actually one of our C-suite studies. So we do one on the CEO, one on the CIO, one on the CFO, and this latest one is on the Chief Human Resource Officer. And it's a, it's a very exciting study. It picks up a little bit on some of the themes that we encountered in the CEO study. It's the third of a series. The first one we did in 2005, the second in 2008. And we decided not to wait the full three years to do the third one because we felt that there had been enough instability in economies around the world that we wanted to see kind of how the workforce was dealing with that. How did the findings of this study compare to past years? It was, it was really interesting, actually, that there was a lot of maturity coming from the first, the second, and now into the third study. Um, during the first study, a lot of the findings focus on operational effectiveness and efficiency. And now what we're seeing is there's still a little bit of a focus on operational effectiveness and efficiency, namely, you know, focused on cost. But there's also a lot of growth potential and a lot of growth focus. So um, thinking about moving, you know, having companies move into new sectors, moving into you know, having new services, new products, new geographies. So we found it very optimistic and very, um, very hopeful. Were there any surprises that came out of this study? Yeah, I think one of the biggest surprises was that there hadn't been as much progress from the 2008 study to 2010 in terms of the use of workforce analytics and how um, chief human resource officers make decisions. And we thought, you know, we would have expected a little more growth in that area, but with the understanding that 2008 and 2009 were probably a little bit more turbulent than they, people had anticipated. So that was probably um, the most surprising thing about it. If you were to give viewers one piece of advice as a result of this study, what would that be? I think the biggest advice we can give um, our viewers and chief human resource officers around the world and in the U.S. is that there really needs to be a focus on identifying and growing and developing that next generation of leaders. I think that is an area that we maybe haven't been doing a big enough job of, um, hadn't really been focused on, and now as we reach a retirement bubble and we have a lot of workers, a lot of our baby mover generation moving on to retirement, um, we really need to focus on growing that next level and making sure they have the opportunities and that they have the creativity to lead in a very different world. Well, it looks like we're just about out of time, but if viewers wanted to read this study, where would they get a copy of it? Well, the best way is to go to uh, the IBM webpage. You can search for CHRO study, and that will take you to the CHRO study page, and everything you ever wanted to know about it, you can find there, including ordering a copy or downloading a PDF version of the study. Thank you very much, Maria. We really appreciate your time, and congratulations on launching such an impressive study. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Great to be here.